Hello everybody, hope you're having a beautiful day. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Dominique. So glad you're here. I thought I would share with y'all what is in my diaper bag. So today has been a crazy day. We woke up early. I sang at my church, I had to be there at 7.30. I fell down, like I was going down the stairs and I fell down. It wasn't that bad, it was like slow motion and I was like, Then, like an hour after that, or maybe less, I dropped my phone in the toilet. Then I went to HEB to go and get uh, rice to put my phone in, and I like dropped all the contents of my wallet on the ground. Then I went back to the church. I was putting the rice in the in the phone in the in a plastic bag, and I dropped my tea all over the ground. So I was like, "What is happening with today?" So anyway, it was like. It was a crazy day. So then we came home and we took a two hour nap. Asa slept, Asa's my baby. And now we've just kind of been hanging around the house. We ate dinner and I thought it would be fun to do a quick video and catch up with y'all. So here we go. So the diaper bag that I have, if y'all have watched my, um, I think it was like my registry picks video. I shared my diaper bag. So this is the diaper bag that I have. It is from the brand Stokey, Stoka. I don't know how you say it. It's S-T-O-K-K-E. I absolutely love this bag. I chose it because I just liked that it was kind of unisex and I could wear it and my husband could wear it. Neither of us would look funny. Um, I don't know, but you know, he, he could wear the bag and wouldn't feel like it's too feminine for him. So anyway, let me show y'all what's inside. I didn't change anything in here. This is just everything that um, happens to be in here. So there's this little pocket on the front. I'll just share with y'all what's in there. Um, have a couple of random Ziploc bags in case we need them. Have this little kitty cat. Meow, meow. On the front pocket, there's another pocket here. Uh, I don't think I have anything in there. I have like a, a card. Uh, but there's a front pocket in here and then there's these little clippies if you have a stoka stroller you can clip this on we don't have one so dustin actually put zip ties on our stroller so that we can attach this but we don't actually ever we don't do that much because we use another stroller that's smaller that's in our car let's just see what's inside so first we have just wipies it's a target brand wipies which i love because they're super cheap uh super inexpensive and they work well Next, we have a changing pad. This one actually doesn't go with this one. I left the one that goes with this one at my friend's and I need to get it back. But this goes with another bag that was gifted to us. Um, it's a bigger bag and we kind of use that more when we travel, uh, but it's perfect. It's small, so it goes in there. Next, we have a sandal. That's where it was. Isn't that cute? It's from Old Navy. Then next, we have um, a little water thing for Asa. I forget what these are called, but it's the one where, you know, he has to like kind of suck on the side to get the water out. And we had another one that's a little bit bigger and doesn't have the handles. And we love that one because if he drops it, it barely spills. Um, and we got this one recently since it's smaller and it has the little handles and he loves it. A bunch of diapers. These are size four Target diapers. They're my favorite. We tried so many diapers when he was little. Um, we did H-E-B for a while, which were pretty good, but we tried Honest Diapers, we tried 7th Generation, we tried Huggies, which Huggies weren't that bad, actually, they were pretty good. Um, but we were trying to do all the natural diapers, and they were all completely awful and a waste of money. But we used them up because we had so many. And then, of course, I know when the baby's little, they have more, um, blowouts and stuff like that. But once we switched to Target brand, we had far less blowouts, and... Um, they're really affordable and they have coupons and things like that. So Target brand, best. Just a uh, big cloth, what is it called? Receiving blanket. Um, this was actually made for us by one of my aunts on Dustin's side. It's so cute. She made him, she made Asa this blanket um, that we usually like put down on the floor, especially when Asa was smaller and he was staying in one spot, we put it down so that, you know, he had a little spot to kind of lay there. Um, but it, she made that blanket and then made these 
um, little receiving blankets for us and they have little owls on them. So I thought that was so cute, cute and sweet. This is a changing pad that we had gotten from Target. I also shared this, I think it was in my baby boy haul. I'll put links down to these other ones. It's just a cloth little, um, you know, changing pad, or you can just put it down on the ground when they're little. We didn't use it that much, especially when he was little, because, you know, if it got dirty, you kind of had to wash it pretty quickly. And um, for a while, we were just using doggy pads. Um, which I have, I happen to have one in here. We don't really use these anymore, but <clears throat> excuse me, our midwives, um, brought these, um, actually put them on the bed when, you know, I had my home birth and then they would, um, change the baby. So we still have a bunch of these cause we had friends give us these, but, um, but anyway, this is just another little changing pad. If you don't want to use the paper of those, you can do something like this. And then next I have these little disposable nursing pads, which I don't use these anymore. Um, my friend actually gave me cloth ones. And so I think I, I just put this, these in here as a backup in case, um, but I don't really use any need to use nursing pads anymore. It's been a while since I've had to. Some crackers, these are little yums crackers. We have used some other ones too. Uh, I forget what they're called, but these ones are a little bit more dense than the other ones, but he loves them and they're perfect for work when we're in the car and usually on the way home, if we're out past his bedtime or close to his bedtime, like around seven o'clock, um, he starts to get fussy and he's ready for bed. So it's good to have some kind of a snack in there. We even have bought formula just cause obviously I can't breastfeed him when the car is moving. So we'll sometimes bring a little bottle of formula with us so that we could give it to him if we're going to be out kind of late and usually we're never out that late I don't want you to think we're like parting it up with the baby but like seven o'clock and he usually is down at 7 30 like asleep so there's this little pocket in here so we have um I put like the little changing pad in here and the wipes in this side and then I'm getting everything else out of the center here at the bottom um, and then there's these little pockets here. So I've got little stuff in there. On the side, there is little um, things to put like a bottle in, um, but I don't ever really use those. Um, in one of these pockets, I have just hand sanitizer that I bought as soon as we got the, you know, diaper bag to put in here. I bought a few little ones in like the dollar section. And then we have some little nail clippers a little tiny thing of triple paste it's um diaper rash cream and this is the best diaper rash cream ever it's um we have a huge tub of it that we keep at daycare and but my friend told me about this stuff and then i somehow i got this i think maybe i got this at bye bye baby like whenever i signed up for my registry they included it in there uh, but it's the perfect size and we don't really use it that much so it's lasted the whole 10 months since Ace has been on the earth. But anyway, this stuff is amazing and it doesn't have harmful chemicals. It's really good. So um, I have, usually we'll just have a change of clothes inside. This is actually old, this is six months. So if he actually did have an accident, he wouldn't fit very well in this. We wouldn't be able to button it, but he wears um, nine months, 12 months, closer to 12 months. We've been putting him in 12 months. And then we have one of these little things where you can put like um, berries and stuff. He, he doesn't really use these that much anymore, but we've got that in there. Um, another thing we have is this little um, Charlie banana bag. And I had bought this when I thought that I was gonna cloth diaper. And then I realized after a week that I hated it and I wasn't going to do it anymore. This I am glad that I got because it's perfect. It's the perfect size. It fits in here perfectly. It's got a little handle thing on it um, but it just zips up and anytime we had um, you know for out and he had a blowout or anything we could just drop the clothes in here it's a waterproof bag inside and then you can wash it um, but it was perfect so even though we didn't cloth diaper we were able to use this little bag on the side there's a couple little bag uh, or little pockets on the side 
And so on this side, there's this little pocket for pacifiers. He never really took pacifiers. Um, when he was little, he might take them a little bit, but he never really liked them. He just wanted to breastfeed all the time. So, um, but that's what we have in there with a the little string um, that, you know, clips to him. Uh, another thing, whenever he's teething, he will chew the sides of this. He likes the way that it feels. So sometimes he'll do that, but I can't get him to go for a pacifier. We have a little teething ring. Uh, this one is from Target and it was like $3. Got this little kind of rough side on both sides. And then at the top, it's got these little things up here. And he just loves this one. This one's his favorite one. We also got the little um, giraffe, what's it called, Sophie, for him that was like $25. And he doesn't really like her. He likes this cheap $3 one. And then on this side, we just have another little burp cloth in there. So we don't really use it now just for cleanup if he spits up or um, has a runny nose or something. But um, you know, obviously when he was little, we would use the burp cloth a lot more. But yeah, so that's everything that I have in my diaper bag. Don't have too much stuff I don't feel like. I probably need to clean it out because there's a couple things that we just don't use anymore. I don't like to carry too much stuff. Like the purse that I, you know, my purse that I carry on a day-to-day -day basis is pretty small. And um, so I don't like to carry too much stuff. So that's why I really like this bag because it's the perfect size. It's not too big carries just what we need because if you start carrying too much stuff then the bag's really heavy and then it hurts your shoulder and mm. i hope that y'all have a great rest of your day and um that y'all are doing well thanks so much for watching um if you have any questions let me know leave a comment below also i would love to know what one item you can't live without in your diaper bag also if you haven't subscribed yet be sure to um, subscribe and click like to stay connected with me. I try to put up new videos every week. I'm trying to put up more, but I do, I do what I can with the little babes. So anyway, okay, I'm rambling and I'm going to let y'all go now. Have a wonderful day. I will see y'all soon.